Hello guys, in this tutorial I want to talk about custom paint again in, uh, because I have a challenge in one of my projects and I need to draw an uh, arrow, curved arrow in custom paint because uh, it's very responsive and very depend uh, in our widget. You can see the UI that we, uh, that we need to create that. In this uh, video, I want to talk about uh, especially about this arrow and and how we can draw this. Okay, previously I uh, create a, a package for uh, help us to uh, create tutorials in our applications, but uh, we need to add this animation arrow to our uh, package or our app. Okay, let's to the code and I wanted to explain uh, this logic and we need some mathematical formula. Okay, let's go. Okay, I wanna put my phone in here and my chair is a little up, okay? I think everything is good and we can go through, okay? First of all, I need to record my screen. Okay. We have this uh, UI that we need to create that, but before uh, we go through, we need to create this uh, arrow and it need to be very, very responsive because our uh, guide widget may be uh, in this section of a screen or our widget that need help is maybe it's my diary uh, text and it's very deep, it's very responsive, it's very unknown position. Okay, and for that we need mathematical and very, for me very, very complicated mathematical. I, some, I do some research, but it's done and I can show you, for example, we have an icon, uh, then I press this floating action button, we have this position and this position and uh, if I show you the code okay you can see what's happening there we have a home page and when we yeah we have a custom paint we just passed our size and pass our painter and has the offset is offset is icon offset uh, I can explain you uh, how we can achieve this uh, position of uh, any widget in my screen uh, and it's not about this video we handle this in another video this in this video we focus on arrow and how to uh, draw this arrow okay let's go to this section of UI in here I add some text and formula uh, to handle this. First of all, we need to have origin and destination. And it's very simple because in my code, we pass this offset is this, off, is off, this offset is destination or uh, this uh, and this offset is our destination. Uh, for example, we have a destination of the icon uh, and we call them destination. In here we have origin. Uh, for example, I I was considered this to origin and we have a middle of or center of our size in center of page. Okay, uh, and because of that we have uh, this destination, this origin and this destination. Okay, we need to uh, get the middle of middle point. Middle point is here. We need to calculate this and with quadratic Bezier, we can draw this curved uh, line. Okay, uh, 
it's very depend on uh, the curve if our curve is uh, right we calculate this in this way and if this is a left for example uh, our curve uh, line uh, from left to the origin we use this method and and the difference that in here because we use minus first and for uh, dy we use plus or add after that for a left we use plus and minus okay it's very easy i uh, i create this in uh, one of my projects and i was create the video about that it's not very big deal and we draw this quadratic bezier to for example if i was comment these and run it again we can get this i i, I remove the uh, animation things and we have this line it's very easy okay after that okay we need to draw a line from here to here in line of this point for example we call them origin and you can see the formal we need to get distance between distant uh, destination and origin and we have for example 15 for uh, width of this line for arrow and we use this section for create uh, arrow point one arrow point one is this point okay we have this point if i uh, comment this section and run it again okay why it's not happened because i need to uncomment this section okay we have this line and it's very good but the hardest section is to create this line and we know just this point is correspondence to this point okay for that i uh, do some research to achieve uh, the formal and you can see that this is linear equations and we need a and b and c okay you can see a b c currently i have a and we need a prime for uh, for create this a prime we have this formal we need a linear equation we need a distance and with this uh, formula we can achieve the opposite okay uh, got a b and c and after that we uh, got a distance like here and after that i want to access or achieve arrow point two arrow point two is very uh, okay arrow point two is how x and y and uh, we need to check again the is right boolean variable because uh, it's maybe uh, in right or left and the formula is a little different uh, in uh, i think in here yeah we are need to add plus and in here we need to add minus and you can see this in my formula plus and minus okay <sighs> with this formula we can get arrow point to dx and dy and after that i uh, draw this line from uh, because after because before that i go to the destination uh, after to draw this line in this line we back to the destination and from the destination we need to line to the uh, correspondence point and uh, our arrow is uh, completely draw we can check it again for this animation, I use these two methods. 
in here and in here. I uh, do some research. I uh, uh, put the Stack Overflow about uh, to calculate the uh, metrics of uh, paint. This method I found it in Stack Overflow. I I I I don't want to talk about that. But we know the create animation path is get our path and animation percent because I've passed the animation percent uh, from uh, my animation controller and it's uh, checked our percent and draw some uh, some sections of our path. Our path is completely an arrow, but uh, depend to the percent is draw a little of uh, these paints and after that we passed these uh, we, we passed it this path and you can see our results okay uh, I wanna check for example if I change for example this padding and put 300 you can see it's little different and I we need to hot restart and okay you can see that our animation and our arrow is completely uh, draw and completely we're no more very uh, responsive and very useful okay uh, in this touch in this video I want to explain these mathematical and this uh, custom paint uh, in another video and after this video I want to talk about to add these to my okay I, I need to bring it here okay you can see this uh, this is my past uh, I've created this package uh, some months ago and this is help us to find uh, which uh, widget is need to tutorial and we add this arrow uh, area of tutorial and it's handled by this package uh, okay, we need add an add arrow to our uh, package and some uh, and, and, and add some UI for example like these uh, and I think uh, we need some animation and it's need and it's done. Okay. Thank you uh, for watching this tutorial. I hope this is uh, useful for you and goodbye.